Hi, this is Ashwant from Circuit Digest and in this video I'll show you how you can test your LEDs using a multimeter like this one. So I have a wide variety of LEDs here starting from 3mm LED, 5mm LED, a 1 watt LED and an RGB LED. So I'll show you how you can test all these with the multimeter here. To get started, make sure that your black probe is connected to the COM and the red probe is connected to your V slash EMA. Then you have to turn the dial of your multimeter to the diode mode. You can identify the diode mode using this symbol. Once it is in the diode mode, you can start testing your LEDs. Let's start testing this LED first. Before you start, you have to figure out which terminal of your LED is positive and which terminal of your LED is negative. You can easily do that by comparing the size of your leads. The lengthier lead will be your positive and the shorter one will be your negative. Now let's test this LED. I am just placing this LED on a breadboard for the purpose of this video. And then we know that the right side is the positive one and the left side is the negative one. I just have to place my probe here. And as you can see, the LED is glowing. Now obviously this means that the LED is working. Just in case if I have placed the probe in the other direction, the LED will not glow. So there is nothing wrong in it. You can take your chances and figure out which is the positive and which is the negative and find out if your LED is working. Now this method will work for almost all the LEDs over here. Let's quickly try another LED. Let's take this one. And as you can see, the lengthier lead is positive. So positive goes to the lengthier lead and negative goes to the shorter lead. And this LED is also working. So you can similarly perform this test on all these LEDs. It will work the same even for a 5mm, sorry, even for a 3mm LED. So the smaller ones are called the 3mm LED and these are the 5mm LED. Irrespective of what color it is or the size it is, it will work fine. See, so this LED is also working. So this method will even work for high power LEDs like this one. So here we won't be able to identify which is positive and which is negative. So just place the probe here and here and see in this direction it is working. If I reverse it, it won't work. So that's it. You can even do this method for a RGB LED like this one. So in these type of LEDs, you have to figure out if this is a common anode or common cathode. So the lengthier pin can either be common anode or common cathode. So we'll just mount it on a breadboard. So we'll just mount it on a breadboard and try placing the negative lead on the largest pin and the positive lead on the small pins. We get nothing. So let's reverse the polarity. We'll place the positive lead on the largest pin and the negative leads on the smallest pin. So as you can see R, so we got, so as you can see, we got green, blue, and I'll just swap my hands to show you this and red. So this RGB LED is also working. So that is it guys. This is how you can use a simple multimeter to check any type of LEDs that is available with you. Hope the video was helpful and you learned something useful. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.